Will automation take over the cockpit and replace pilots in the upcoming decades? Well, that's what we're talking about in this video, coming up. There's just something different about aviation. My name's Luke, and on this channel, you can watch me grow from student to professional pilot. Adventure is in aviation. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Luke and I'm a student pilot and on this channel we document my journey from student to professional pilot. We're back in the hangar today talking about another topic in the aviation industry due to the beautiful weather that upstate New York is offering us right now. Big business executives like the CEO and President Ben Breyer have put out statements that fully autonomous flights may happen within the next decade. That's pretty scary to think about if you ask me as a pilot, so let's dive deep into that topic. The argument that is being made to support fully autonomous flights is human error. The majority of aircraft accidents and collisions are caused by human error. If you eliminate the human, you eliminate that element and there's no longer that danger. But if you look at other data and think about it in a different way, you can see that there's also dangers in making it fully autonomous. Now I looked at two different articles to present you with this data and information to let you make your informed decision on whether or not you think this is a good or dear or not. So one of the articles that supported fully autonomous flight was by Discover and they say, we believe that lack of knowledge about automation is one of the critical factors here. People will feel better about automated flying if they know more about the benefits of automation, such as extremely reliable automated warning systems to prevent mid-air collisions and crashes. Now my opinion on what they said there and what this whole article is saying is that basically humans make the errors so you need to take them out, but that's not necessarily the case. Computers and all this automation in cockpits, yes, they fly the plane itself, but the computers need to be told what to do by the pilots. The pilots aren't just getting into an airplane and starting it up and it's flying itself away. They're programming the flight management system. They're giving it headings. They're deciding what altitude it needs to go to. They're avoiding traffic in the air. The computers don't just do it all on their own. They need to be told what to do. So until we have artificial intelligence where it can actually make decisions like humans, then I really don't believe that cockpits will be fully autonomous. Another issue we run into is what do you do when only some of the aircraft are autonomous and some of them are filled with pilots? Obviously, you can't change every single airplane in the sky, so how are you gonna communicate from autonomous aircraft to aircraft that have actual humans in them operating it? I think that without a doubt, we will have this technology probably in my lifetime, and artificial intelligence is already becoming a reality like some companies have been showing. But it's convincing the public that this is a safe thing to do. If I asked you if you'd be comfortable in getting in an airplane that if something goes wrong with a computer, there's not a single person who knows what to do and you're basically doomed, would you say yes? I think that the baby boomer population is gonna be more against this, but I honestly think that my generation and generations to come will be fine with it because let's face it, we already have cars that drive ourselves and we have trains that basically drive themselves. Of course, that's two dimensional and that's a little different than being in an airplane, but still it's something to think about. If we look at it like that technology seems crazy and so out of reach, it really isn't because if you look what an airplane looked like 50 years ago, which I'll put on the screen right now, and now you look at a modern day airplane that just got released, the technology is tremendously different. Just imagine what a cockpit's gonna look like in 50 years from 2020. Something that I see happening in the next decade or maybe two is the downgrade to one pilot in the cockpit. I can see this as a very real possibility. You can rely on technology, but then you also still have a pilot and a human factor there if something were to go wrong to fix that. Now, another thing to think about is how much technology is too much? Do we wanna be fully dependent on technology for every aspect of life? What happens when the garbage workers get replaced by robots and the factory workers get replaced and car drivers and pilots? Well, what's there gonna be left for humans to do? That's something that you gotta think about that it's so far out that really only my generation has to deal with, but that's really something to consider is what is our world gonna look like if everything is done by technology? Are we gonna be the dominant species on the planet if that happens? 
All in all, I think this is a really complicated topic that has a lot of different factors to it that you could look at so many different ways. But I think it's important to keep an open mind and really consider what may happen in the future. And if you ask me, I don't want any technology to replace pilots because I want to fly airplanes. And I know there's tens of thousands of people who are also pilots and they want to fly airplanes. That's another thing is, you know, what are you going to do with all these people who don't have jobs anymore? With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll be able to come to you with another flying video next Saturday. But if you did enjoy, don't forget to click that like button so I know you did and drop a comment about your opinion on all of this. But until next time, I want you to stay current, stay proficient, keep the blue side up, fly safe everybody. We'll see you in the next video.